Work boots are made from cowhide, which has undergone mineral tanning and finishing tanning. A waterproofing treatment completes the preparation. Let's follow the process. This machine is a shaver. It evens up the hide and opens its pores before it receives other appropriate treatments. They treat the hides in this retanning drum. Water, coloring products, and retanning products are at a temperature varying between 32 and 60 degrees centigrade. Hides are then removed from the retanning drum. The leather will then be vacuum dried for two minutes at a temperature of 70 degrees. Then the hide will be hung for 24 to 48 hours. Here the hide is stretched on a vacuum drying plate. It's evened out to get rid of any creases. A hide measures almost two square meters and they'll need about 0.4 square meters of leather to make a boot. They begin cutting the boot parts. This punch, with the help of a press, cuts the different pieces of leather. They also cut brown fabric pieces, the interior lining of the boot, made from a foam base and woven polyester fibers. This paring machine thins the edges before they're sewn. During the cutting, each piece of leather is identified by its size. They now begin assembly of the boot. The two sides of the boot are sewn together on this machine. Now the front part of the boot is assembled. Excess leather is progressively cut away. The eyelets, made of steel, brass, or aluminum, are then positioned. Here they attach a foot mount on a form with tiny nails called tacks. The last is placed in the boot to facilitate the assembly of the front part. This carding machine removes any unevenness at the level of the lining before proceeding to the next step. They now install the tempered steel toe cap. The lining is pulled, they insert the cap and fix it well in place. The leather is folded beneath the boot, the bottom secured with a tack, and the sides fastened with hot glue on this seat and side lasting machine. The boot front is now finished. We get a good view of the application of the hot glue. At this stage, they remove the last, installed at the beginning. It's no longer needed. Now the sole will be installed. The heel core is of pine. It's put onto the sole, which will soon be secured into place. Here they proceed with machining and welding of the rubber sole to the boot tip. It's called vulcanization, done at a temperature of 165 degrees, and the sole is solidly installed. This machine sands the edges of the sole to eliminate any vulcanization residue. They also apply a sealant. They now place an insole inside the boot. Here they install the laces and stitch on the labels. The boots now leave for the packaging area. Building a pair of boots required no less than 123 different fabrication steps, including packaging. Each pair needs 101 meters of nylon, cotton, and polyester threads, and close to a square meter of thick and rugged leather.